Hi, I'm Ohani, and I decided to do an unboxing video today. So, Rose of Rose and Ben Beauty has been one of my favorite content creators for uh, quite a while now. And recently, she came out with some new makeup brushes, so I had to go buy them all, and we're going to try them out. Let's go unbox these. So right away, I can tell these brushes are going to be really nice to work with. They feel so soft to the touch, and they feel high quality. I love the color of the handle. And I love the little detailing on it with her name and even just the name of the brush on here. Let's try these out individually and go a little more in detail. Alright, so let's start with the one I'm most excited for, the C40. This brush looks so beautiful and it's the one that really, really interested me the most. It has this really unique shape to it. According to the packaging, it's good for warming up your face and sculpting your cheekbones and hairlines and the tip of your nose. You can use this brush with pressed or loose bronzer, contour, or highlighter. Let's try it out. Alright, so I've put a little bit of bronzer on here as you can see. Wow! Pretty nice. Do you see that? Alright, let's try that on this cheek and see if we get the same results. This time I'm going to zoom in a little bit more. Yeah, that is applying really, really nice. I'm really enjoying this. Alright, let me finish up the rest of my face with this. It is so soft and I feel like it's really blending in the product so nicely. I was definitely right to get this one. This is still going to probably be my favorite of them all. Let's try the rest. Alright, the next brush we're going to try is a C41, which is this really, really uniquely shaped brush. It says, designed for the ultimate control and flexibility, this non-traditional blush brush features a uniquely sloped head shaped to press the product into the skin for an even natural finish. It can pair with cream and powder, blush, or bronzer. So I love multitasking brushes. We'll try it out with blush for now, but in future I'll probably try it with some bronzer to see how it is. But here is that domed shape head. It's really nice. Again with the detailing and the number on the handle. Don't know if you guys can see that. Well, let's try it. I'm going to take a little bit of a blush. And I'm going to try to press it to the apple of the cheeks and let's see how that looks. Hmm. Again, another really soft brush. I feel like it gives a perfect amount of color to my cheeks. You can definitely tell where I put the blush and where it doesn't have any. Let me try the other cheek. Well, let's zoom in this time. Again with that pressing motion. Flying really nice and I feel like I'm not using a ton of product. Yeah, I like this brush too. Gosh, it's going to be hard to pick a favorite here, isn't it? Alright, on to the next brush. So for the next brushes are the eye brushes, so I'm definitely going to be a lot more zoomed in, but you'll still hear me talking throughout the video with it. I did forget to mention in the beginning of the video, I did do my foundation and concealer off screen before I started testing these brushes because I wanted to focus on what these brushes can do on their own. Alright, so for the eye brushes, let's start with the E28, which is this really nice brush. It's kind of fatter in the middle and more tapered towards the ends. It's supposed to be good for diffusing eyeshadow and building color on your eyelid. So I think this will be really nice to pack color into your crease. Alright, let's try it. So I already prepped my lids and I'm just going to take one of my favorite palettes, which is a Charlotte Tilbury one. I'm going to take a little bit of this color on the side of the brush. 
And let's see how this works. It is pretty nice at just packing that color on there. It's really nice. The next brush we're going to try is the E29, which is this really nice, big, fluffy, tapered brush. It is for eyeshadow to perfectly blend and diffuse it for a perfect finish. You can use it with pressed and loose eyeshadows. All right, let's get up close and personal with this. Now I'm purposely gonna use a darker shade with this brush just so I can put it up higher and you can really see what this brush can do. So I'm gonna go in with this one right here. See. I really wanna mess this up up here just because I want to see if one of the other brushes in the collection is going to be really good at cleaning it up as it claims. Again, a really soft brush. Really nice. It's really blending my eyeshadow very nicely and very easily with minimal effort. That looks scary. We're gonna try one of the other brushes to clean it up in a little bit and see how that works. So I purposely went crazy with the eyeshadow up there, especially with darker shades, because I want to see what this little brush, the C31, which is this really nice dome-shaped brush, can do. It's supposed to be a multi-purpose brush that's great for buffing and blending your color corrector. Um, I think this will be a really nice tool for cleaning up any mistakes at the top there with a little bit of concealer. So let's try that out. So I put a little dab of concealer on this because I want to see if this will be really nice at cleaning it up up here as I suspected. It's helping to really diffuse that color a little bit more up there. I think this would be really nice in this inner corner too, if you kind of get a little too over jealous. Zellyet, is that the word? Zellyet, over here to clean that up too. I could probably use it under my eye, but since I already have concealer and I didn't, forgot to set it, hence the creasing, I don't want to mess with it right now, but I'll probably try that at a later time. Let me go ahead and zoom you out so you can see. What a difference this little brush made in cleaning up that area up there. I'm going to go finish the other side and then I'll be back. Alright, so the next brush I want to try is this little angled beauty. It is the E26. And it's supposed to be really great for precision and flexibility when applying your favorite eyeliners. It's great with liquid and gel liners, so we'll try that out. I'm terrible with liquid eyeliner, but let's see how this goes. I went a lot better than I thought it would. It's very user friendly. I just need to practice doing this. I'm also doing it on this really fine camera lens as well, mirror. So, not the greatest, but not bad. I'm just gonna fix it up a little bit and then we'll try the next brush. I was so excited to try that eyeliner brush out that I totally forgot. I didn't put any eyeshadow on my eyelids. So I'm going to improvise a little bit and we're going to do the C30 which is supposed to be great for um, effortlessly blending and building concealer and eye primer and applying it. It pairs well with liquid and cream concealers or eye primers. In this case, I'm going to actually try to use one side for packing some color onto my actual eyelid 
and then we'll try the other side to for some cleanup. All right, let me zoom you in. So I'm gonna take this really nice shade right here. It has a little bit of glitter and reflection in it, and we're gonna try that on my lid. Hope this goes well. Let's see, I'm just gonna kind of press it right above that eyeliner that I already did because. I don't want to mess it up too much and I don't want to have to redo it. Oh, it actually worked. It's a really nice shaped brush. As you can see, it's really kind of fitting the shape of my lid so I can just kind of put a little more glitter onto my actual eyelid there. Alright, so I just wiped it off and I'm going to try with a little concealer now and try to clean it up the way it was intended to be used. I'm going to go right here. And look how sharp and nice it makes that concealer line for me to really differentiate where my eye look is going to stop. It's nice, I'm just going to blend that out a little bit. It makes a really, really sharp line that I like. Last but not least brush in the collection is the E27, which is this really nice fan-shaped almost brush. It kind of reminds me of the blush brush that we used earlier. Let's try it out. It's supposed to be really good for the inner corner and for winging out your favorite pressed shadows for eyeliner. It's good with pressed and loose shadows and highlighters. So. We'll try them both ways. So first I want to try it out as a highlighter because that area is going to be lighter and then we'll try to wing out this eyeliner with some eyeshadow and see how that looks too. So I have a little bit of pigment on the blush here. And it's shape is kind of nice for this corner honestly. really good at defining that little inner corner. I'm going to go a little bit more crazy on this side. That is very nice. I feel like this might be one of my favorite eyeshadow brushes because I definitely want to try it out actually just to kind of pack some definition into that area. I'll have to try that out at a later time. Now let's try this out with some actual um, eyeshadow now to kind of see what we could do here. I'm going to just wipe it off real quick. I'm just going to take a little bit of that darker shade I used earlier. I'm just going to kind of press it right there. Okay, you saw that, right? Look at how nice that's kind of connecting right there. Darn, I wish I had used eyeshadow to begin with instead of trying to struggle with this eyeliner, but live and you learn, right? Wow, that is really nice. Try if I see if I can replicate that again over there. Yeah, that is really, really nice. Okay, I found an easier way to actually do winged eyeliner now. And this will be it. Alright, let me go clean up this look a little bit more, and then I'll be back with my final verdict on these brushes. So this is a final eye makeup look. As you can see, I kind of just added a little bit of eyeliner to the tight line area, cleaned it up a little more, and threw on some mascara. I'm happy with the results of it. Let me zoom you out so we can see the full effect of everything. So this is my final makeup look. I did my lipstick and highlighter off camera. Overall these brushes are all really really nice. I definitely will be using them a lot on a daily basis. You know these brushes <laughs> are about $25 a piece. They can seem a little bit pricey, but they're definitely worth the investment. 
you know, I understand not everyone can buy all of these brushes, but if I had to pick my favorite brushes out of the whole collection, it would definitely be this really nice bronzer brush. It's just so unique and it did exactly what I wanted it to do, where I needed it to do. It diffused everything out so perfectly. And then my other favorite brush would be the E27, which is almost like a little mini bronzer brush on its own, which I think would have so many great applications. You know, I can definitely see myself using it in my crease. I already discovered I can use it for eyeshadow to make using eyeliner easier, especially for those who are challenged with doing liquid eyeliners like myself. And, you know, for the inner corner highlights. So these two definitely, definitely should be in your collection, but if you can get them all. I would. These are definitely so, so nice to play with. So easy. It made doing this look so easy and so minimal effort. Definitely worth the two and a half year wait and definitely worth all the times we've seen Rose and Ben do tutorials and say stay tuned it's a prototype. Can't wait to see what else she comes out with from her line. So good job Rose and Ben. And that's my review of the brushes. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!